Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to teach you how you can easily use Jabber. Jabber is a great uh, tool that can help you in your business and I believe after finishing this video you will know exactly how to use it. Don't hesitate asking me questions down below in the comments. If I know the answer, I'll be really happy to help you. So let's start. The first thing you want to do is go top right, click start free trial. I'm going to add an email here and password and click start free trial. Now when I have it, we need to set up our profile. So I'm going to add a full name, Marcus Stone, and my phone number. Click next. Set up your business, company name. Company size, including you. So I'm going to choose just me because I don't have any employees right now. Uh, you can also choose two free people for 10 or 10 plus people. And then you have industry here. So let's say that I'm doing a carpet cleaning or commercial cleaning or window washing. I really enjoy. Uh, I don't like window washing, but I like to see people how they <laughs> wash windows for some reason. So I'm going to choose that. All right. Of course, you choose yours segment. Click next. And then what tools you use to stay organized. Uh, so let's say I'm using pen and paper and online calendar and you can also choose QuickBooks, etc. It's up to you and Outlook and Gmail. And I'm using also spreadsheets. Next. You're all finished. Let us know where you first heard about us. Google. Finish. Okay. When we're here, get 50% of your first three months. I'm going to skip and buy later because I'm on a free trial. You can do it straight away here if you want to. Okay. And now complete creating a starting guide for you. So what you can do is to do it uh, by this, but I'm going to uh, skip this. I'm going to teach literally everything how you can do it. Okay. Now, when you would go on the left side, you can see get started or you can simply click home. In a home, uh, you would see all the data as a requests, quotes, jobs, requires invoicing and then invoices. What you can do is to simply hide insights or view and then click more actions and this is like the quick guide to create a new client quote invoice job request task and event so this is what you can do in a home uh, then you have a calendar here in a calendar you can click it by month and you would see literally everything here but before we are going to uh, use the calendar i'm going to create a client then i will go to work as we are going to create jobs and invoice, etc., and then we will see everything in calendar. Okay, so the first thing first, clients, and click on it. And you can simply uh, add a client by yourself. You can do it with QuickBooks or import. So what I'm going to do, I will add a client manually. Her here, I'm going to add a first name, Marcus Client company name and I can use the company name as a primary name. I'm going to see the contact details here and uh, this is a phone number and I'm going to uh, email address so like this and you can have also automated notifications so quote follow up, appointment reminders job follow up when you close the job so you can uh, turn on the notifications then on the right side you're going to see property details as you add a street one so let's say this can be and like i uh, know like this okay kyle liverpool i just made it up you can also <clears throat> show it on a map and now you see, you see the really great thing, additional property details. I can add, as I mentioned, that I'm a windows washing. So I can simply windows cleaning. I can add number of windows here. So what I'm going to do, save a client. Off. Like this. Okay. And voila, here we have our client. So we see the Marcus client properties. We see the overview. Uh, what you can do is go here to new 
and you can add a new request called job we will get to it <clears throat> then on the right side you can simply email you can edit or you can simply also uh, edit the whole client further you see the billing history here and i can click new here i can collect a payment i can create an invoice but we will all, you can everything do in uh, your client or what we can do is to simply go to work and we will do it there also when i'm going to click properties i got to see the property right here and i can again add a request to quote the job so when we come here to work and i'm going to click on work the first thing we're going to see is overview in an overview you're going to see your jobs invoices and quotes so what i'm going to do first is to uh, click here on requests any requests i'm going to right to new request and now request title request for i have the lead here this is my request please provide as much information as you can uh, so window clean schedule an appointment if available which day works best for you tomorrow what is another day that works for you let's go april 7 what are your preferred ar arrival times let's choose any time or like in the morning and internal notes and attachments i will just edit and then select the file and when you got it and when you fill the whole request you go to bottom right save and end convert to quote so from this request i'm going to convert to quote and it, okay so we have a quote here and now quote for marcus client job title windows cleaning i'm going to uh, rate the opportunity as very likely i can change the quote number i can add a product and service so as you can see as i choose that i'm in a segment of of uh like high level windows or low level windows that i'm cleaning windows you see that pressure interior windows let's see quantity let's say 10 unit cost 50 and now i can add line item i can add optional item i can add a text subtotal i can add a text add a discount if you have one and i can simply uh, add internal notes and attachments so uh, this is how we create a quote pretty straightforward pretty easy go to bottom right and click save and and i'm going to convert it to job you can also send it as a text message send email or save it as a quote convert to job and now we have a job so first job for marcus client okay windows cleaning instructions none and i see that schedule is going to be start date let's choose it's going to be from 1st to 7th of april i can have times so i'm not going to uh, do it repeat daily okay so a uh, one-off job or you can have it as a recurring job then i get to see invoicing here line items i can add more items and this is how the job is so i see that okay the start date and end date is going to be right here start time i'm not going to add it and i got to see the light items here and then on the right last thing is save and i can create another email booking notification etc so this is how we do it then what you can do is to save job and voila here we have it now we have a job this week assigned to right here timesheet no time tracked and then click invoices and now let's create an invoice so this is how the whole works work and now i get to see the client mine marcus client and right here i have a job that i'm going to invoice and click next step when you already create an invoice here uh, you see that okay we got it from our quote that we got a product and service quantity unit cost total you can add line item here 
uh, internal nodes and everything. And what you can do is to check it out with internal windows, unit cost, total, and go to bottom right, save end, or save invoice. And you can send it. Voila, here we have it. So we have a request, we have a quote, we have a job, and now we also have an invoice. What you can do is to click here on a top right, more actions, and you can download it as a PDF. See? Marcus client, Mexico, issued, due, next 30 days, total, and they are going to pay it. So this is how the work works. And then you're going to see report. So in reports, you can simply create a reporting if you want to. And then you have a timesheet here. And with the timesheet, uh, you can, what you can do is to have a category general markers client windows cleaning as an active job. What I would do, I can add a start right here and I can start the timer or I can simply add a time by myself. 1 a.m. to 3, 6 p.m. duration 17 hours, click save. And as you can see for the Marcus client, I'll, I started a timer, but also uh, I already added time that I worked on it. So as you can see, this is how it works. Now I would just go stop timer and I would see the time here. It was like one minute. So this is how the timesheet works. What you can do is to come here also to calendar. And as I mentioned in a calendar, you would see literally uh, every single day I have to work and I have to do the windows cleaning. And when I would go back to home, I can see that, okay, we got one job active, but uh, we got a draft of invoice. And that's pretty much it, how it works. And this is how the jobber works. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. If you're going to have any questions, ask me down in the comments. I'm really happy to help you and provide you some guidance. Thank you very much. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya.